My heart raced as I witnessed the older woman berating the poor young soul. Without a second thought, I rushed forward, determined to put an end to her torment. Grasping the young woman's arm, I pulled her away from the harsh tongue lashing. The crone's cackling words echoed behind us as we distanced ourselves. So Mr. Tough Guy wants to be a hero and save the damsel in distress, does he? She sneered, a wicked gleam in her eye. Let's see how tough you are when you're a damsel in this dress. A shiver ran down my spine as she snapped her fingers. Suddenly, I felt a strange sensation, and panic set in as my surroundings morphed. My business suit vanished, replaced by a hot pink strapless dress. My arms became smooth, adorned with opera gloves, and my entire body underwent an unsettling transformation. I brought my hands to my face, attempting to scream, but only a high-pitched wail escaped, unfamiliar and disconcerting. The crone reveled in her twisted sense of justice. Better run off to prom, young lady, she growled, her voice dripping with malice. Before I turn back the clock a few more years and enter you in the preschool beauty pageant. Stumbling in my new form, I realized the gravity of the situation. As the transformed damsel, I faced a surreal reality, the laughter of the crone ringing in my ears. The world around me blurred as I contemplated the bizarre fate that had befallen me. Frantically, I stumbled away, the once familiar weight of my business shoes replaced by dainty heels that clacked awkwardly against the pavement. The transformed attire felt like a costume, an absurd caricature of femininity that left me bewildered and exposed. The young woman I had rescued looked at me with a mixture of gratitude and confusion. Thank you, she stammered, her eyes wide with disbelief. But, what just happened? I could only muster a shaky smile, my voice now a strange pitch. We need to get out of here before she does something else. The urgency in my tone matched the surreal situation. As we hurried away, the crone's laughter lingered, a haunting reminder of the bizarre curse she had cast upon me. Each step in heels that felt alien beneath my feet intensified the surrealism of the moment. The cityscape, once familiar, now appeared through the lens of a transformed reality. Passersby glanced at me with puzzled expressions, but I dared not explain my predicament. How could I articulate the inexplicable magic that had turned me into an unwitting damsel? My mind raced with thoughts of how to reverse this peculiar spell, but for now, escape took precedence. We ducked into a nearby coffee shop, the bell above the door jingling as we entered. The patrons stared briefly at my unconventional attire before returning to their conversations. Seeking refuge in a corner, I whispered to the young woman, we need to figure this out. Do you know anything about that crone? She shook her head, still processing the strange turn of events. I've never seen her before. But we can't let her get away with this. Determined to reclaim my identity, we huddled together, plotting our next move as the unsettling laughter of the crone echoed in the distance. The journey to undo this enchantment had just begun, and the challenge ahead seemed as daunting as the pink dress that now clung to my transformed frame.